Hello friends, welcome back. This is the second tutorial for IPv4 classless addressing. So what happens? An IP address, when there is no subnetting, it defines only two levels of hierarchy. Right? Now see this address, x.y.z.t. Right? So here uh, you can see this uh, slash n. Right? So here n is the mask. Right? So what happens uh, in this address? In this address, the n leftmost bits they define the network right and this part of the address is called prefix right and uh, now you can see uh, that uh, the 32 minus n rightmost bits they define the particular host to the network right and this part of the address is called suffix right so what is the n here and here n is the mask right uh, now suppose there is an organization and uh, this organization is granted a large block of addresses right and uh, now this organization wants to create clusters of networks which are called subnets right so it uh, wants uh, to divide addresses between these different subnets right so what happens is the rest of the world will see this organization as one entity but internally there are several subnets right uh, and uh, what happens is uh, the messages are sent to the router address which uh, connects the organization to the rest of the internet right and uh, then what will happen when the messages are sent to the router address which connects uh, the organization to the rest of the world then this router will route the messages to the appropriate subnets right so what happens uh, the rest of the world will see uh, this organization as one entity but internally there are several subnets right so what happens is uh, this organization needs to create small sub blocks of addresses and each of which will be assigned to a specific subnet so what happens uh, as the organization has its own mask each subnet also has its own mask right so it will be clear after this example suppose there in a, there is an organization right and that organization is given a block this one right uh, here uh, 26 26 is the mask right so as you can see here uh, this uh, block is given to an organization so as you can see that uh, this block uh, will contain only 64 addresses right and suppose this organization has three offices right suppose this organization has three offices and uh, so what happens uh, this organization uh, what it has to do it needs to divide the these addresses these 64 addresses into three sub blocks uh, that is of 32 addresses 16 addresses and 16 addresses right so this organization uh, what it has to do this organization has three offices so it needs to divide the addresses into three sub blocks of uh, 32 16 and 16 addresses right now see here that uh, the mask of uh, this organization is 26 now we will find the mask of the subnets right uh, as i have told you that uh, uh, this organization has three offices uh, so it needs to divide the addresses into three sub blocks of uh, 32 16 and 16 addresses so what happens uh, this uh, organization has uh, three subnets right and mask of this organization is 26 and we have to find the mask of subnets which are in this organization right now see what happens suppose uh, the mask of uh, first subnet of uh, this organization is n1 right suppose the mask of uh, first subnet of uh, this organization is n1 right so what happens uh, this uh, first subnet right it needs 32 addresses this uh, first subnet it needs 32 addresses so what happens uh, 2 raised to power 32 minus n1 it should be equal to 32 right so it means that the value of n1 should be equal to 27 right so what happens uh, the mask of first subnet is 27 right now suppose the mask of second subnet is n2 right and uh, this subnet needs 16 addresses so 2 raised to power 32 minus n2 should be equal to 16 right so it means the value of n2 should be equal to 28 right so the mask of this uh, second subnet is 28 now 
we will find the mask of third subnet suppose the mask of third subnet is n3 now see this subnet also needs 16 addresses therefore the value of n3 will be 28 right so the mask of third subnet will be 28 right so as you can see here in this example uh, that uh, the mask of uh, this organization is 26 right the mask of the organization is 26 and uh, the subnet masks are 27 28 and 28 right now uh, we will see how we can find the subnet address from one of the addresses in that subnet right now suppose in subnet 1 this address right this address can give us the subnet address if we use the mask 27 right uh, suppose uh, this is uh, some address uh, in uh, uh, subnet 1 right in subnet 1 this is the address right as I have uh, as we have uh, found that the mask of first subnet is 27 right so here uh, what we can do by using this mask 27 we what we can do uh, we can uh, find the subnet address so how we can find now first uh, this address 17.12.14.29 what we will do we will convert it into binary so when we convert it into binary we will get this address now see uh, the mask of this subnet is 27 right so what we will do uh, in this uh, address what we will do uh, we will uh, uh, set 32 minus 27 that is 5 right we will set 5 rightmost bits of this address to 0 so when we set 5 rightmost bits these bits of uh, this address to 0 right then we will get this address right so this is the subnet address of subnet 1 right similarly we can find the subnet addresses of subnet 2 and subnet 3 right 